And before Mo3 died, he, we was a half a million dollars in a hole. My ideals and my what I do, I brought it up to four million. Now, what about Mo3's mother? Uh, it's the word I had, and I just hear all this different stuff. I don't know about it. Uh, she lost her administration rights or something. I don't know what that's yeah, that, about. Yeah, they said they uh, they going they, they family going through a lot of stuff right now. I try to stay out of it and do my job, but they going through a lot of stuff right now. I think I don't know. So I don't, some money came up missing or something. And I just try to do my job. And money do it every time, won't it? When somebody pass away. When somebody pass away, money will, have, money will tear down the whole tribe. So I just stay out the way, you know. They gave me 20% when Mo3 died. And, you know, I take my 20% and live my life. So, and I don't I guess I'm not get too far in it, but you said they gave you 20%. Uh-huh. I mean, 20% of the... Lump that was on the table. No, twenty percent of the estate. Of the estate. Uh huh. Okay. So my job is to make the estate more money, so I keep on my twenty percent. Okay. All right. So explain that. So that's why you you got a release of, you haven't released yet, or have you released yet, the the other album? Yeah, from I just three. released the album when he died. It's, it's platinum. Now. I thought you had another one. Though. I got another. One. I got two. That's more. what I was talking yeah. about. I was talking about the other one. Yeah, I got two more. When you gonna release them? Um. When the record label says it's, it's good enough to release, oh okay. I don't have the I don't have the power just to sit there and say release it. Okay. I'm just a manager. He's under a record label. Okay, so the relationship yeah. still with the record company, yeah. record label. Yeah. But they understand that you got 20 percent of whatever goes down. Yeah. Okay. And, and listen, before Mo3 died, he, we was a half a million dollars in the hole. With the my ideals and my what I do, I brought it up to. Four million. So, Mo three was a half million dollars in the hole when he died. When he died. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Now you've bought it up to four million. Yep. Since he died. Since he died. Now how did that happen? What do you do? I put I put some badass projects together. Okay. None of the songs I put together with was together like that when Mo3 died. Mm -hmm. Like outside the song that made two million, um, um, Mo3 told me to scratch that song. He don't want, he don't want it on his album. When he died, I, I made a phone call and told me it had to be on his album. I hate, I hate, I, I hate how Mo3 died. I mean, you know, whatever, all that was about. He's just a jealous baby daddy. Huh? Just a jealous baby daddy. You got to think of a positive. Me and Mo3 came from nothing, so he died. His kids were millionaires, and he died a legend. So, you know, at the end of the day, I believe Mo3 happy by, with the way everything played out. I know nobody wanted to die, but at the end of the day, Mo3 always wanted to be a legend. He wanted to, his kids to be happy and rich. So that's how, he, that's how they wrote the script. So where is hip-hop today? Is, is hip hop dying out? Oh, is it rising back up? Is it's it stable? The most, it's the most money hip hop ever seen. Okay. You don't have to go sell no CDs. A person can stream your music. And you get paid for them streaming for free. Really? Yeah. It's, it's easy. You don't have to go do shows or nothing. You know, enough streams can make you a million dollars sitting inside your house. You've been listening to The Other Side with Dwayne Caraway. Thank you for joining us. Tune in next time for more great guests, insightful conversation, a little bit of humor, and a whole lot of truth on The Other Side with Dwayne Carraway.